Troubleshooting the TV problem will often require the use of a multimeter to check voltages. One of the most common questions that we receive on our videos that involve a multimeter is where are we supposed to place the ground lead on the multimeter. We always place the positive test lead on the pin that we are reading the voltage of. Power supply boards are made up of a hot and cold side. You can see the hot side is defined within this outlined area and the remaining parts of the board are the cold side. Depending on which side of the board, either the hot or cold, you are testing voltages on, the placement of the ground lead will differ. When testing a voltage on the hot side, put the positive test lead on the pin you are testing and then put the ground lead on either the negative side or on a heatsink on the hot side. We are showing this example while testing this capacitor with the ground lead on the negative side of the cap and on the heatsink. Both show the same result. If the heatsink on your power supply is painted, like the heatsink on the screen, then it will not show an accurate measurement if you place the ground lead on the painted part. Look to put the ground lead on an unpainted portion to get an accurate measurement. When testing a voltage on the cold side, the ground negative lead should be placed on a metal part of the chassis to serve as the ground for the voltage testing. It can be placed in a metal screw hole that was holding the back cover on the TV or in one of the metal holes in the chassis. Having the ground lead make contact with the metal part of the chassis is most important. If there is no metal chassis and the boards are mounted to plastic, then you will need to use the ground points on the boards. Here we are showing the multimeter in action, testing the voltage on the power supply. We have the test lead on the pin and the ground lead on the metal part of the chassis. 